Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. Welcome to another 360 review. In this video, I'm going to look at Templately, a new template solution for Elementor and Gutenberg. Templates are a big time saver. The idea is that you design something once, save it as a template, and then you can reuse it, just substituting out the bits of content from the layout and design. In this video, I'm looking at Templately, a new plugin from the WP Developers team, the same people who make the popular Essential Add-ons for Elementor plugin. Templately has three main features. First, it includes a library of professionally designed templates available as blocks, pages, and packs. Second, it provides a cloud storage option that lets you save your own templates to the cloud and reuse them on other sites. And third, Templately also gives you the ability to share templates with other people. Templately is unique because it offers these features for both Elementor and Gutenberg. Templately is a free plugin that's available in the WordPress plugin directory. To see how Templately works, I created a testing site online and installed the plugin. Here on the testing site, you can see I've got Elementor, I've got Essential Add-ons for Elementor, I've got Essential Blocks, which is a plugin from WP Developers, their new Gutenberg plugin, and I've got Templately installed. When you first install and activate Templately, you get a new menu item in the WordPress admin, and you get a login screen like this. Here you can log in using your email or password, or if you don't have an account yet, you can click here to sign up. It's also possible to connect via an API key. This is an interesting feature that in your Templately dashboard, you're able to create API keys that you can use on sites. And since you can create your own key, it might make it a little bit easier to remember than a random password. And it might be a little more secure for using over Wi-Fi because you can easily create new API keys or disable API keys from your Templately dashboard. Once you log in, you have here in this Templately admin area an interface where you can browse the template library. So you can see here are all categories and there's more than 200 templates. You can filter them by the type, either pages, blocks, or packs. And packs are full page sites with multiple pages and blocks, kind of like an Elementor site kit. When you hover over a template, you get this little eye icon. And here, if it's a pack, you see the other pages or blocks in the pack. And you can drill down further and you can see the full page, what it'll look like. When you hover over it here, you have this little pop-up here that lets you preview by device screen size. You can insert them here. You can insert here when you hover over it. Or you can insert it here from the main page of the library. When you hover over a template, you see a lot of them have this tag that says free. And as we page through them, we'll see there are a lot of free ones. And you see there's some that have a pro tag. Also, when you hover over a template, you see this little indicator here. These are the dependencies. So this one, for instance, has a dependency on essential add-ons for Elementor and also Fluent Forms, which is a nice forms plugin. So here are the pages, here are the blocks, here are the packs, and then there's a place here for My Cloud. When you go into My Cloud, you see the items that you've saved here. You can have workspaces kind of like a folder for organizing your templates and create workspaces here. You have a place where you can see the templates that have been shared with you and you can click here to go edit your profile. Down here it shows how many templates you've saved to your library. Up here there's a drop down where you can switch between Elementor and Gutenberg because Templately also supports Gutenberg. 
we can see here that there are not as many templates for Gutenberg yet. Their essential add-ons for Gutenberg plugin is new, so I imagine they'll add more templates as you go along. But here are three already that have a dependency on their Gutenberg plugin. The free version of the plugin gives you access to all of the free templates and the ability to save up to 100 of your own templates to the cloud. You also get one workspace. If you want to access the premium templates, you can purchase them individually or there is a monthly subscription. With the monthly subscription, you get unlimited template uploads, unlimited workspaces, and access to all of the pro templates. WP Developers has also just released a lifetime agency bundle that includes a number of WordPress plugins and their theme. And a cool thing about the agency bundle is that it includes the premium version of Templately. Let's try creating a new page. We'll call this one Insert Template Test. I'll publish that and edit it with Elementor. When you're in the Elementor editor, you see that you have this purple button for Templately. This works a lot like the Elementor library button. And when we click on it, we see the template interface, which is a lot like the one we saw in the WordPress admin. So I'm just going to insert one. If you don't have the dependencies, it will tell you that. And here's the About page. You can see that I need to add the MailChimp API key here, but you can see how easy that was to do. Let's save that. Now let's go back to the dashboard, create a new page. Call this one About Me. Edit with Elementor. I'll add a row and I'll add an image. Here's a picture of me. And then here I'll add a heading and I'll add some text. I think probably one paragraph is enough. And let's give it a background. Make it a very light blue gray. Now, Templately adds these two options. You can save as a block to Templately, or you can save the whole page in Templately. So I'm going to save it as a block. When you do, you get a place where you give it a name. And if you have some dependencies, then you might want to leave a note here for yourself. You select the folder you're going to put it in, your workspace, and you save and push. And here we are in my cloud. You see it's been saved. So I'm just going to save this and go out. Now I'm going to go to another site. So I come now to a new development site. This one is local, WordPress local. And I already have Templately and Essential Add-ons and Elementor installed. So I'll add a new page. I'll call this page Pull Save Template from Cloud. I'll save that. I'll edit it with Elementor. And I go here to Templately. And this time I go to the My Cloud area. Here is that About Me block that I saved. I click Insert. And you can see that it copied over great to new site. OK, let's save and close that page. Now let's go back to our online site. This time let's see how Templately works with Gutenberg. So first I'll add a new post and I'll call this Insert Template Test. And you see Templately gives us two buttons here. One is Templately which gives us access to the library and the other one is to save it to the cloud. So let's try inserting one of their pre-designed blocks. Okay, and so it added that. Worked great. 
I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to create a new post and let's try, I'll try creating something and pushing it up to the cloud. Call this one about Pippa, who's my dog. And I'll add a couple of col columns here. Add an image there. Here's a picture of her. And then here I'll add some text. Okay, and I'm gonna save that. And now I'm gonna try pushing this to the cloud. I'll call this one about Pippa. And I'll save and push it. Here it is, it was saved. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the local site or press local and I'm going to add a new page and I'll call this one pull template and I'm going to go into the templately interface for Gutenberg here's the about Pippa template and I'll insert that and there it is it inserted it just fine so this has been two features of Templately. We've used their template library for Elementor and Gutenberg, and we've saved things to the cloud and we've pulled them down on other sites, again, for both Elementor and Gutenberg. Now let's take a look at the sharing feature. Okay, I go to the Templately menu here. I go to my cloud, and now I'm going to create a workspace and I'll call this workspace team folder. And then you add the email address of the person you're sharing it with. So I'm going to add Sam's email. And then you click on create workspace. So here's the workspace that we just created. I'm going to go back to my cloud here. Here's the about me template in Elementor. There's a little glitch here where you don't see the full menu there, but you have copy to workspace, move to workspace, or delete. I'm going to click copy to workspace, and I'm copying it to the team folder, which is shared with Sam. And that's done. Now I'm going to switch over to the Gutenberg cloud, my Gutenberg templates in the cloud. I'm going to do the same thing, copy to workspace. And there we go, I've copied them. All right, so now let's take a look at what things look like from Sam's perspective. When Sam logs into his Gmail account, there's an email from Templately. And this is what the email looks like. It has a view invitation button on it. And from my testing, it looks like the emails are sent when you share a folder, not when you share individual files. So you don't get a lot of emails about shares. And when Sam clicks on the view invitation button, he goes to the Templately website. He goes to a page and he can either sign up here or sign in here. I accept. I'm already signed in. I go to the workspace. Here's the team folder. And here's the about Pippa template and the about me template that I shared that now Sam has access to. So you can see that's pretty easy and the email invitation is a nice touch. Discussion and conclusions. In terms of pre-designed templates, Templately offers a large number of pre-designed templates for Elementor. It was easy to browse the library and I was impressed by the number available. One suggestion that would make the interface easier to use might be to have a filter for dependencies so we could see which templates required Elementor Pro or Essential Add-ons Pro. Gutenberg is new enough that there weren't many pre-designed templates available for it yet. It's interesting to see the WP Developers Gutenberg plugin. It has some nice blocks, but it's new and there are not many templates available for it yet. 
I imagine that more will be added over time. In terms of saving your own templates to the cloud, Templately makes that easy, and I found the process of saving and inserting my own templates to be very intuitive and straightforward. For Elementor, it was possible to save a section or a page. For Gutenberg, it seemed like the entire page contents were saved. I didn't find a way to save just a single Gutenberg block out of a longer page. I suppose the workaround would be to create a separate post with just the content I wanted to include as a template, but it would be nice in the future if saving one block or a block collection was an option. You will need to have your site online, not on your local computer, in order to have images uploaded to the cloud. It is possible, however, to bring the images down to local host when you're pulling from the Templately cloud. That seems to be the way this works for other add-ons as well. It's not a big deal, but it's nice to know about it. In terms of sharing templates, Templately sharing is an amazing feature that sets this apart. I found it easy to use, and the ability to send an invitation to new users is a nice touch. In conclusion, the user interface was easy and intuitive. Templately has advanced functionality beyond my initial expectations. If you own or plan to get Essential Add-ons for Elementor Pro or Essential Add-ons for Gutenberg, then using the free Templately plugin is a no-brainer for getting some nice block and page templates. Template reuse is a biggie, and with this tool, the process is smooth and works as expected. It's nice to have your own cloud storage accessible while using the Elementor and Gutenberg editors. The ability to easily share workspaces and their templates for both Elementor and Gutenberg makes Templately a must-have for Teams. It seemed like there was a good, reasonable amount of control over what was shared. I can imagine a designer creating templates for site builders, and I can see agencies building up sets of layouts for reuse. If you're making sites for other people, then you might uninstall a plugin like Templately when the site build is done. If it was just providing templates for Elementor. However, because this tool also works with Gutenberg, it makes Templately something to keep around as it will be useful far beyond the initial site build. As they add more pre-designed Gutenberg templates, then I can see Templately also becoming a go-to tool for bloggers and content creators. The free tier is generous and it's an easy way to get started. I'm glad I found this tool and I plan to use it. So that's my walkthrough and review of Templately. There's a text version of the video available on the Elementor 360 website along with other reviews and resources. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.